So this is kit number three and for all my lady viewers, all ten of you, this is for you. Okay, so let's see what this is to start with. It looks I just saw the shape of a heart in there, so let's see. Okay, for any of you who want to buy it, it's labeled HBL twenty two. And let's find out what this thing is. So it says E kit. Okay. All right. So what have we got? A load of LEDs, a transistor, uh, S8050. I'm not familiar with that one. A resistor, which is one zero, and then yellow. So I think yellow is four. Is that right? So it's one zero 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 which is 100k I think um, then we've got yellow, purple, orange uh, 4700 maybe 47k I don't know um, then we've got 1, 0 and orange which is 1, 0 and then some zeros so I don't know we'll find out what that one is and then we've got a red, red, black, which is two, two, zero. So it's twenty-two. Yeah, twenty-two. So um, <coughs> oh, we've got a capacitor here as well, electrolytic capacitor, forty-seven microfarad, sixteen volts. We've got a little toggle switch. A well, five zero three. So it's fifty uh, k resistor and a chip LM358 which um, is that an amplifier chip maybe I don't know but anyway uh, let's start with the kit and uh, and let's see what happens so to start with I'll do as I usually do which is the most difficult one which happens to be the LM358 so I'll put the LM358 in first I can get it in. LM358, there we go. So, um, let's get started. I think I'll just zoom in. And let's give it a go. So, I don't actually know what this does. Um, and I bought it such a long time ago that, um, it would be hard for me to find out really. But um it's obviously some sort of decoration. So there's the chip in place. And which one should I go for next? I'm thinking the capacitor over here, okay? So the plus side, which it always has the longer lead seems to go in the bottom there and uh, blue tack that in again so yeah um, before I mean, start this video I said it's a, like a a woman's video or whatever of course it's not really is it it's just a just a bit of messing about but um, I suppose it's a valid point though there's like, very few women who who are subscribed to the channel I think um, I think in reality, I think 95% of uh, of my subscribers are male, so 5% female. So um, I suppose that is quite bad, really. I wonder why why it's like that. I mean, I've got um, I've got two girls, and I'd like to think that I bring them up so that they can do anything they want, whether it's a male thing or you know, apparently male thing or female. I'd like to think they can uh, do whatever they want. Anyway, so what should we do next? We'll do the transistor. So what is this one again? It's S8050. Hmm. I assume that's a transistor. I suppose I could have a look. So, blue tack. But yeah, um, looking on YouTube, there are actually some... Um, some uh, women that do have YouTube channels for electronics I can't remember the names now 
But um, a woman who who definitely does. What's going on here? Okay, made a bit of a mess of that one. But a woman who definitely does know a lot about electronics is, of course, this uh, lady Ada, which is, or who is responsible for this Ada fruit. And of course, they do a lot of um, a lot of good stuff. There's also another lady as well. I can't remember her name though. I'll have to find out. And um, she does um, Raspberry Pi stuff. Anyway, so we've done the transistor now. So the 22, 22 ohm resistor. And I don't actually know all these color codes. I know red is two. I know black is zero. And I know brown is one. I think yellow is four. So yeah, I don't, I don't really know the codes inside out. I probably should do by now though. So 22 ohm resistor. That's in. <coughs> Made a bit, a bit of a mess of um, of this. I'll show you here. You see that one there? That's not very good, is it? I might desolder that. Then it's not touching though, so no, I think I will actually leave it. It's not touching, so it doesn't matter too much. It's not very nice though, is it? Right, so next I'll do the variable resistor. So uh, 503, so 50 with three zeros. So it's 50k, and yeah, it does say 50k there, so that's good. So let's get this in now. But yeah, it's it's interesting though, isn't it? Why is um why is electronics considered to be a a male thing? I mean, I see no reason really why why women can't do electronics. Maybe they. In fact, for all I know, it might just be a UK thing. I mean, women in the UK seem to avoid these sorts of subjects, but maybe in other countries, China, whatever. I don't know. I mean. What's it like where you live? I mean, I've got viewers from all over the world, so I don't know. Drop a, a comment and let me know because it seems to be a bit of a problem, really. Right, these are the 47k resistors. Yeah, so um, so I've got two girls, and I don't, you know, I'd like them to be able to achieve anything they want. Even if it's you know electronics or con something considered to be a man's thing, I don't really see see a problem. I mean, why why isn't a woman able to do anything with electronics or programming too? Programming is another one. When I went to university and um, and did my degree, um, there weren't many women, but there were some though. There were some. I think in general, I think the class. I don't know. I think. Well, there was lots of different classes, but I think in general, it's probably about just trying to think of a random class. Probably about fifteen males to about three females or something like that. But they weren't, um, you know, they weren't looked down upon or anything. They were treated just the same. They weren't. I wouldn't say they were given more attention or less attention, really. I mean. Um, but there you go. Right, so what's this one? This one's one, zero, I think that's four, so uh, one, zero, and four, so that'll be 100k, wouldn't it? 100k, and we do have 100k here, so that obviously goes in there, like that. Okay. That in there. But yeah, it's very interesting. Um, when my girls were, well, I say when they were younger, they're still very young anyway now. But um, when they were babies, I did a bit of a test, and um, I thought, well, I'll let them have boys' toys and girls' toys, and uh, and just see what they do. Um, but um, 
they just do they just do seem to go for dolls and stuff but um they do I mean they do like to mess about with this sort of stuff as well I mean if I if I'd let them they would mess about with it but they seem to have some sort of natural uh, thing towards dolls some sort of natural attraction towards dolls now I thought it was a cultural thing but it's it's actually not the well my girls anyway just are drawn to dolls for whatever reason right so what's the next we've got another alright we've got another one here so this is one zero um, right what's orange one zero I guess it must be three 10k is that right well it's the only one left so so it's going in there anyway and here we go and we're almost finished we've just got the LEDs to put on now I think and <clears throat> we've got power as well DC 4 to 6 volts but I don't have a connector for that do I? I don't think I do looks like that's something you've got to wire yourself yeah the wire will go through there and then bend in Yeah. so time to use the LEDs now now there's something I need to do on here I need to be absolutely certain that's right because I don't want to put all these in and find out that it's, it's you know it's not right so I can see that these see these LEDs here there's like a flat piece there so the flat piece obviously goes over here towards the flat piece on the board so I suppose I'll do two or three of these at a time so there's the flat piece and flat piece again <clears throat> and hopefully this thing will go all right. Not made that one easy for myself. Right, I've done that. I just need to um, trim these Hi. leads off now. It looks quite good, actually. Thank you. I trim the leads off. End up these little bits everywhere. Cinderella. 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 Yeah, and and play doh Cinderella. Cinderella and Play Doh. Yeah. Okay. Cinderella. So it's done. Apart from one thing, it just needs a bit of power. So, um. So how am I going to do this? I suppose I, I suppose I solder on some, I don't know, a bit of wire or something. So um, wire. Well, have I got wire? Wire. 
Tools. Wire. Put this out of the way. Right. Orange. Orange. We use these ones red. Orange, orange, orange. And black. Orange, 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 I'm going to go. And that's done. And now with these holes here, you see these little holes underneath? We'll push the wire through like that. And this one. Just like that. Well, I'm going to get off. 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 And we'll see. Uh, I'll give it 5.3 volts. And do we think it's going to work? It's yeah, it works. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there you go. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So I wonder what this um, variable resistor does. Daddy can. Let's have a look. I probably, I suppose it'll be brightness. Oh no, it's the speed. Get off. Get off. And there it is. So that's me doing the uh, or this cheap heart kit anyway. So, as usual, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye!